Hello, I'm Jeff. My wife and I host Message of Hope. Message of Hope wants to be your weekly inspirational, motivational, and non-judgmental friend to help you through your week as we share Bible truths and life experiences to let you know you're not alone. Let's join Sandra to see what Message of Hope she has today. Hey, it's Sandra, your host. You ever get fed up with people or things going on in your life to the point you just feel like giving up? Throwing in the towel? Just get in the car, fill it with gas, and just drive until you run out or you're as far away from home as possible? I know I sure do. And today, we're going to find out how to be ready when life throws you a curveball. The past weekend was one of those times. It seems nothing went right. My nerves were on overdrive and I felt helpless and hopeless in ever seeing some things change. It would be easier just to say, heck with it. If you can't beat them, join them. But I know that isn't what I should do. Is it really even what I want to do? So once I had my time of stewing and letting my blood pressure rise, I regained some peace of mind and I looked up some scriptures to go ahead and print off and maybe place around my home to remind me to remain focused. That right there is part of my problem. You know, if I don't have the word in me enough to be able to fight off evil thoughts and my ever-changing emotions prior to my getting upset, then it's not likely I will recover because I'm not going to have the tools I need you know, the weapons to fight it off. And then it's going to take me more time to realize it's an attack from the enemy who the Bible says is roaming constantly and watching to see whom he can devour. The scriptures I chose to give me direction and encouragement are the following, but there are many more in the word and some specific to what each individual thing you might need to fight against is. But these are the ones I chose. 2 Chronicles 15, 7. But you, take courage. Do not let your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. Isaiah 41, 10 through 13. Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all who are against you shall be put to shame and confused. Those who strive against you shall perish. You shall seek those who are against you, but you shall not find them. Those who war against you shall be as nothing at all. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, Fear not, I am the one who helps you. Praise the Lord. Jeremiah twenty nine eleven through 14 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into exile. Galatians 6, 9, let's not get tired of doing good because in time we'll have a harvest if we don't give up. Joshua 1 9. I've commanded you to be brave and strong, haven't I? Don't be alarmed or terrified, because the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So the signs that I'm going to put up that have those five scriptures are going to say, Take courage, don't be weak, you will be rewarded. One will say, Fear not, for it's God that helps you. And another will say, God knows the plans he has for me. He wants me to have a future and a hope, and he will restore to me anything that has been taken by others. And the fourth one will say, Don't grow tired of doing good, Sandra. You will receive a harvest if you don't give up. And the fifth one will say, 
Be brave. Be strong. Don't fear. It is God who is with you wherever you go. And you know, this got me to thinking, why is it that our natural reaction is to just want to run away when that's not even possible? Just like I read in Joshua, God is with us wherever we go. We can't escape God's power or presence. Not if we climb the highest mountain, nor if we swam the deepest sea, or in the darkest room, or even in our inner thoughts. We would like to think that we get away with doing some of those things in secret, or that we could run from our circumstances. But our God, Jehovah, He sees all, and He knows all. Today, I thought I'd share a prayer with you that helps me so much, and I hope you're encouraged and uplifted by it too. And it's a psalm of David. It's actually two, Psalm 138 and 139. And it reads, I give you thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. I bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. For you have exalted above all things your name and your word. On the day I called, you answered me. My strength of soul, you increased. All the kings of the earth shall give you thanks, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. For though the Lord is high, he regards the lowly, but the haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You hem me in behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to the heavens, you're there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you're there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the utmost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light about me be night. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light with you. For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden for you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written every one of them. The days that were formed for me when as yet there was none of them. How precious to me are your thoughts, O Lord. How vast is the sum of them. If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake and I am still with you. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O God. O men of blood, depart from me. They speak against you with malicious intent. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord, and do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with complete hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Praise God. Praise your name, O Jehovah. Our Elohim and El Shaddai, worthy is your name, most holy, gracious, and merciful Lord. Our heart is for you, O God, the lover of our soul, the gifter of our breath and life, the provider of all our needs. And together we praise your most holy name. Amen. 
I hope this talk today in these scriptures help you to face some of your future battles. That's all I have for today. Before I close with a prayer for you, I ask that if you enjoy our show, that you share our podcast with your friends on social media to help us to be able to remain online. Now I want to pray for you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Until next week, Godspeed.